Huge shout out to the Jasmine brand because I found out about this article via the Jasmine brand. So your man B. Scott posted an article on October 2nd of 2017 titled hashtag Real Housewives of Atlanta exclusive Portia Williams booted from the Real Housewives of Atlanta group trip after she tried to attack Marlo Hampton. First of all, hashtag free Portia, hashtag Portia is innocent. But anyways, uh, back to the article. Your man B. Scott writes, sources exclusively tell lovebscott.com that Portia Williams and Marlo Hampton got into a massive blowout during the cash trip to Barcelona and Portia got sent home early. According to our source, Portia and Marlo got into an argument and things escalated quickly when Portia pointed an object at Marlo's face. An object was at her finger. Like, c come on now. Yeah. Anyways, Marlo then snatched the object from Portia. Oh, okay, it wasn't her finger. She wouldn't snatch her whole, whole, whole hand off. Uh, Marlo then snatched the object <laughs> from Portia, which prompted her to lunge in Marlo's direction. Portia didn't touch Marlo, but security did break them up, and Portia had to be restrained before being escorted from the venue. The ladies aren't set to leave Barcelona until tomorrow, but Portia was put on a flight early. It wouldn't be a real Housewives of Atlanta season without Portia trying to fight someone. Really love B. Scott? Now, you're the man and everything. You, you post fucking awesome articles. I fucks with you, B. Scott. Pause. But please don't say that about Portia. The only thing Portia is fighting is negativity. Anyways, update. Portia took to Instagram to share a note about maturity and walking away from situations. Here's what Bay wrote. <laughs> Y'all know I love me some Portia. Maturity is learning to walk away from people in situations that threaten your peace of mind, self-respect, values, morals, or self-worth. Bay is so deep. Anyways, uh, hashtag blessed and highly favored. Oh, for sure. Uh, heart emoji, hashtag peace of mind, hashtag my choice, hashtag loving the new me, kissing lips emoji. Listen, man, Porsche is such a positive and wonderful young lady. And, you know, we've never seen her hurt anybody. Porsche has never been in a physical altercation before. Well, well, uh, unless it was in the bedroom, but we can't see all that. We're, we're not privy to that, uh, that uh, beautiful bean footage. But here's the deal, man. Listen, everybody stays coming for Bay, and, and let me explain to y'all why real quick before I go. I told y'all before there is a war on pretty. Now, Marlo's a nice looking woman, so I'm not saying that, you know, Marlo is part of the, <laughs> I'm not saying she's possessed with the whoopee ghost. You know, the ugly demonic spirit that's trying to keep beautiful women from combining their beautiful minds and taking over the entire planet. Because that's what would happen if the pretty girls stopped fighting. They would basically be able to just take shit over. Now, let me say something to y'all real quick. Bust it. <clears throat> there must be more to the story. Somebody else must have instigated this. Somebody must have lied or something. You see how there's a piece missing? Like, what led up to Portia allegedly pointing an object at someone? What, what, what was the object? Was it a stick? Was it a figurine? <laughs> was it a lamp? <laughs> the fuck was she pointing at? Was it a comb? That's probably what it was. This is what I predict happened. Are you ready? I think Portia was like, you got a hair out of place. Here's a comb for you to comb your hair with. I saw a couple hairs out of place or whatever. You know, and then Marlo took that wrong and she thought she was trying to play her. And then Portia didn't lunge at her, but she actually put her arms out to go give Marlo a hug. Like, girl, I didn't mean it like that. Here, take this hug. And then... She just got blown out of proportion because security took it wrong and they thought that more was going on than what was going on. All I know is Portia is the most positive and awesome person on the entire planet and she would never harm a fly. Now, she may harm a pair of jeans trying to chime on, you know, busting through the seams with all that booty. But at the end of the day, man, Portia the Great would never harm a fly. So I don't know what y'all talking about. I'm going to ride for my fave all day all night for my fave y'all know that that's my baby y'all already know damn well that Portia is the greatest thing to ever happen to earth but anyways y'all y'all knew what i was gonna say y'all knew damn well i'm Portia's greatest fan it is what it is Portia can't do anything wrong in my world shit Portia can stab me in my damn heart and, and I, I will look her right in the eyes and say thank you thank you you know what i'm saying like that's the type of motherfucker i am Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating, but y'all know I love me some Portia. I don't think Portia did anything wrong. I think that things are being blown out of proportion as freaking usual. You know, uh, people just people are just always coming for her because she's the most magnificent, beautiful thing that ever existed. So, you know, it is what it is, y'all. Uh, don't believe the hype. Portia didn't do anything wrong. She wasn't trying to hurt anybody. It wasn't that type of party. And before I go, I'm going to check one 
thing. Let me go to Marlo's social media live, and I'm going to see if she posted anything about it. Marlo said on Twitter, which she reposted on Instagram, your attacks are becoming greater because your blessing is getting closer. Hashtag blessed by the best. Namaste, hashtag namaste. Hashtag actions speak louder than words. Change is imaginary for some. So I, I guess that's supposed to be her response to the beautiful Portia Williams. Is, is that what she it sounds like that may be what she's referring to. But who really knows? All I know is this man, the two lovely ladies, of course, Portia is like the most magnificent thing ever. And, you know, they need to you know be able to be in the same room with each other because this is their job to be in the show you know i know marlo's not technically a cast member you got to understand something portia must be bringing something magnificent to the table because you know things have been basically saw it has been thrown on her name multiple times people have falsely accused her of things there was a look-alike there was some sort of like um was it a drone i, I don't know what it was there was some look-alike heifer that was going around attacking people and then they were blaming it on bay they were saying that portia was doing it but we all know that that was just some you know some chick that kind of looked like her you know they, they did some chick up and make up and made her look kind of like portia and then she was going around doing crazy things and they were like see look at portia and I, it wasn't really portia but anyways y'all uh let me know what y'all think about it all below Whose side are you on? Marlo's or Portia's? And what do you think about my fanship for Portia? Um, are, are, do, do you agree with me that, that Portia can do no wrong? Or are you a hater? Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine. Meat Magazine 7 on Google+. Meat Magazine blog and Instagram. Hit the notification button. It's right next to the subscribe button. It looks like a bell. Once you click that button, you'll be sent alerts to be notified when the videos get posted. Before I go, let me tell you, let me just tell you one more thing. It's time for Portia to lead the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now, a lot of y'all might be saying, me, are you saying you wanted to get fired from the show? No, I wanted to get promoted. I feel as this. Two things should happen with Portia. Portia be, should be made a producer for Bravo, and she should be able to help produce Real Housewives of Atlanta. She should be behind the scenes in that show, but she should be given her own show with her beautiful sister, Lauren Williams. Now, the mom is fine. Hell, she reminds me of Shaka Khan, and she has other five family members and friends, and all these beautiful brown goddesses need to have their own damn show. It needs to be called Portia and Friends. Now, on the show Portia and Friends, it'll be mainly about Portia and Lauren. Or Portia, Lauren, and Friends. Excuse me, you got to put, put my girl Lauren's name up in there. Y'all know me, love me some Lauren, too. So, boom, buzz it. <clears throat> so, you get Portia and Lauren, all their little five friends, the mama and everything. And, and, and everybody get a big old check. And they put them on my TV screen for an hour a week. And they run as many episodes as The Real Housewives of Atlanta because everybody's going to watch the damn show. Because everybody's going to miss Portia for Housewives. But it will be similar to that. But it would be basically all about Portia and Lauren. She has enough things going on in her life between Dish Nation. You know, her lucky ass boyfriend. I ain't even going to hate on him. I, I, I can't even hate Hey, you got Portia. You must have done something right, motherfucker. So, you know, between her hair care line and, and everything that she's doing. It's like she's doing in a, a million and one things. She was in Sharknado 5. You know, she sings. She's, she's a jack of all trades. Excuse me. The Jill of all trades and the master of everything. She's the master of the universe. So we need to have my favorite of all time, the greatest human being on earth, Portia Williams, with her own show on Bravo. It's high time. Cut the check. Two million per episode. Okay, maybe they don't have a budget that big, but y'all need to have the most magnificent human being on the earth on her own show. Uh, Portia, Lauren, and friends, or the Williams sisters. And you got Venus and Serena on there on the first episode, and they can have like this thing going like, "No, where the Williams sisters? No, where the Williams sisters? Well, we challenge you uh, to a game of tennis, and then Portia and Lauren win, and uh, that could be like the opening scene. See, see, I'm creating the show. See, I'm thorough with this. Y'all need to have me um, as like a a a, a vice uh, executive producer, or whatever this whatever the producer is under the executive producer, and then um, I could work for Portia. And I, I listen, y'all, I'll do it for free. Like, I mean, just to breathe the same ear as Portia, and I wouldn't say anything stupid to her either, I know she got a man, I ain't trying to get my ass whooped, you know what I'm saying, so I, I, I would just be cool, and just and just, and just just do whatever she says, so anyways, Bravo, if y'all listening, uh, hook it up, cut the check, um, uh, sign my money over to Portia, because like I said, I'll do it for free, and uh, so give her 2, 3, 15, 50, 11 checks, and um, anyways, this is all my opinion, Meat Magazine on YouTube, meatmagazine.blogspot.com, Meat Magazine on Twitter, Meat Magazine 7 on Google+, Plus, Meat Magazine blog on Instagram. Shout out to Portia, you deserve your own show. That's all that this is saying to me. 
there's once again that Portia just really needs to have her own show you know everybody can't play fear when it comes to the greatest people stay coming for her spot what is the blessing that Marla is referring to is it Portia's speech does she want to eat Portia's speech I don't know I'm not saying she, I would love to eat Portia's speech uh, anyways I gotta go y'all and I'm not saying that Marla's trying to take anything from her or anything like that you know I don't have any issues with Marla other than that this she was wearing some confederate flag shirt one time that really pissed me off but anyway Marla got a fat ass so I'm a fan but I'm just saying though uh, Portia is the best thing that ever happened to earth so it is what it is y'all y'all can hate all y'all want on my fanship but Portia is the greatest to me she should be the greatest to you and if she's not you just don't have good taste gotta go y'all meet magazine Portia keep your head up I know you didn't do anything wrong they stay coming for you everybody sees it we all see it the world knows it you're just the fucking greatest I got I gotta go she, she's the best I, I gotta go